We're gonna go ahead and open this up so you can see exactly what's inside of it. Just got some scissors, I'm gonna very lightly cut through the tape here. As well as the invoice. Okay, I'm gonna cut it on each side. Be careful as you're doing this, just not to go too deep, just like with any patches that you're gonna get. As we open this up, we see the Lion Energy manual, the manual for the actual generator itself. We've got some styrofoam in here to protect it. We've got the power cord. I'm just going to set that there for the time being. So I'm going to turn this actually upside down like this gently. Gonna lift the box up. The unit itself comes very well packaged in styrofoam. These are form fitted to the actual unit, so you will receive it undamaged. It's always the goal. Okay, now we're gonna gently flip this back over. Right like that. Take off the top piece of styrofoam. You'll see it comes in this bag, okay? This is totally sealed up, even if you were to lift up on the side here, though you would actually be able to untape it. Take the sleeve off. And here's your unit right here. So obviously we got the front, has your your LCD screen right there. You want to take the covering off. You're going to push the button to turn it on. It's going to tell you what temperature it is in here. It's exactly the temperature is what the thermostat says. We can turn that on right there, the AC switch. So we've got two power outlets here just to plug anything in. We've got a cigarette outlet. That's 12 amps. We've got Anderson power poles right here, as well as some USB plugs to charge your cell phone, your tablets, digital cameras, whatever you would like. So those are the outputs. We've got these nice carrying handles on the top here. So as you turn this to the side, this side we just have some vents as well as this other opposing side same exact thing turn this around to the back side and we've got a fan just to keep the unit cool we've got a plug there to plug in the AC power so we could plug that in plug it into an outlet to top it off we've got the DC input the Anderson power pole connections once again that's where you're gonna plug in your hand crank, your solar panel, anything along those lines to charge it up. And then we have this external port right here. That's if you want to plug in the external battery pack. That will triple the life of this unit by plugging that in. I'm going to flip this back around here. And that is the Unboxing of the Lion Energy FTB generator. And you can store it like this. We protect it from any EMPs, solar flares, lightning, terrorist attacks that involve nuclear explosive things like that that would cause problems to electrical devices. Then you can pack it around just like that.
PrepSOS.com here today to show you the EMP bag by Lion Energy. This fits all the popular solar generators. This fits the Humless generators, both sizes. This fits the Lion Energy FTP generator, the previous model made by Humless but rebranded by Lion Energy, the Lion Energy L1500. This fits the Renergy Firefly. This also fits the older Humless Sentinel, the Humless Roadrunner as well. And so this is going to protect you from EMP attacks, electromagnetic pulses. This can happen but due to terrorist activity. You can also have da uh, electronics damaged by solar flares and this can also protect it from lightning. It's basically a Faraday cage. There's a copper mesh in the lining that protects it from electrical currents that would otherwise attack it. So there's room in here for other devices, for cables, for things that go with it, as well as phones, iPads, things like that that you would want to put in there. All right, let's get it loaded up. So first things first, I'm going to turn this sideways. I'm also going to turn the generator sideways. Now these can sometimes be a little difficult to get in just because it's a, it's a pretty snug fit. Gonna slide it right in. Now you can stand it up, shake it a little. You want to make sure not to let your generator fall down. All right, so we've got that in there pretty well. Now I'm gonna take the ends. I'm gonna fold this one down. I'm gonna do the front side down first, just so you can see how I'm doing this. Then I'm gonna fold the back side up and over. Okay. Now on the sides. We have these little rings. We're going to do this just like a belt, just like a web belt. I'm going to push that all the way through, like so, back down and through the bottom ring, and we're going to pull that tight. Okay. Now we're going to do, I'm going to loosen that up just a touch right there, and then we're going to tighten up this other side the same exact way. I'm going to push this through. Then we're going to cinch this down on this side. Just like that. That's how you put it in.